Welcome to Pharma Guideline. In this video, we are diving deep into an important FDA warning letter issued to Granules India Limited in February 2025. This inspection unearthed critical CGMP violations that every pharma professional should learn from. Whether you are in QA, manufacturing, validation, or regulatory affairs, there is a lot to learn, so stay tuned. The FDA inspected Granules India's Telangana facility between 26 August and 6 September 2024. A formal warning letter citing multiple severe violations of 21 CFR parts 210 and 211, meaning the firm's products were deemed adulterated under US law. In short, the FDA found serious issues in cleaning validation, facility maintenance, equipment calibration, and even data integrity. Let's look at each of these findings and explore what went wrong and how to avoid similar mistakes. The first and most alarming issue is inadequate cleaning and maintenance of equipment. The FDA found residues of multiple drug products after HEPA filters in the ducts. That's not just poor cleaning, it's a direct cross-contamination risk. Swab samples even revealed too numerous to count microbial contamination, a clear sign that cleaning processes were either not followed or grossly ineffective. Now, what did Granules India do? They responded with macro calculations and reserve sample testing to justify the risk was low. But here's the key learning. Retrospective testing cannot justify inadequate cleaning. Without proper cleaning validation and execution, even a single contaminated unit can impact patient safety. Ensure cleaning validations include worst-case scenarios, like high-potency or low-solubility APIs. Next, the FDA found bird feathers and droppings, yes, you heard that right, inside air handling units. This kind of biological contamination can compromise the air used in production areas. Granules tried to block the entry points with netting, but the FDA rightly noted that netting alone isn't a root cause solution. The big takeaway here. Your facility must be designed and maintained to prevent pest entry. That includes proper wall sealing, routine pest control, and regular inspections of HVAC zones. Don't just treat the symptom. Fix the system. Root cause analysis must be thorough and facility-wide. The third violation was the failure to routinely inspect and calibrate AHU and HEPA filters. The inspection revealed damaged filters and unclear roles for the quality unit during maintenance. Relying solely on pressure differentials to decide when to clean or replace filters is not enough. Preventive maintenance must include proactive inspection, not just reactive pressure monitoring. And your standard operating procedures must clearly define who is responsible for each task, especially quality. This one is a red flag for any QA professional. Torn CGMP records were found in waste bags, balance printouts, worksheets, and more. Even if these records were not directly related to released products, it reflects poor documentation culture. Granules blamed unclear procedures and inadequate standard operating procedures. But the FDA didn't accept that. Key takeaways are Good documentation is not optional, it's the backbone of CGMP. Destroying or discarding raw data without justification is a serious data integrity breach. Revise standard operating procedures to clearly instruct what to do with illegible or incorrect printouts. Train all staff thoroughly. So, what can we all learn from this warning letter? Clean, validate, and document rigorously. Inspect facilities and equipment proactively. Define clear quality oversight in standard operating procedures. Treat documentation as a critical product component. Conduct facility-wide vulnerability assessments regularly. Always investigate root causes thoroughly, not superficially. 
This warning letter isn't just about one site, it's a mirror for all pharma manufacturers. Regulatory compliance is a continuous journey, not a one-time event. The issues found at Granules India serve as a powerful reminder. Compliance isn't just a checkbox, it's about protecting patient safety and upholding quality standards. Have you reviewed your cleaning validation and documentation protocols recently? If not, now is the time. Thanks for watching Pharma Guideline. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more regulatory insights, case studies, and compliance tips. Join our membership plan to view member-specific videos and courses.